the hospital the first talk is on uh, by on uh, on the evaluation of eye, uh, eyelid swellings by dr abarna k sharma she finished her fellowship in oculoplasty from aravind tirunelveli and now she is a consultant at chaitanya eye hospital trivandrum welcome all of you A very good morning to one and all. I am Dr. Aparna K. S. And today we are going to uncover the mystery of generalized slit swellings. First of all, thank you, Soumya Ma'am and K. S. O. S. for giving me this opportunity. Generalized slit edema can be a diagnostic challenge to many of us because the etiology of this condition is highly varying. Uh, it can be a trivial uh, hodiolum or it can be the herald of severe systemic diseases or even neoplastic conditions also. So today I am going to give you a brief outline regarding various etiologies of generalized slit swelling. First about infectious causes, preceptal cellulitis is an inflammation of the tissues anterior to the orbital septum which is characterized by erythematous painful lididema, um, sometimes it can be associated with chemosis or low grade fever also. But whenever there is dangerous li uh, signs like proptosis, limitation of eye movements, optic nerve involvement, think about orbital cellulitis or even the spectrum can extend up to life threatening conditions like cavernous sinus thrombosis which needs aggressive management. Lididema can be due to collection of pus itself as in the case of lid abscess or lacrimal abscess which needs incision and drainage. Sometimes the culprit can be nearby as in hodiolum, dacrocystitis or even acute conjunctivitis but sometimes it can be away from the eye as in this case of a pharyngolosis of the scalp resulted in dependent edema of the eyelids. Whenever there is vesicles, think about viral infections like herpes zoster or simplex. Whenever there is painful rashes, think about bacterial infections like erysipelas. Uh, blister beetle dermatitis is caused by pedras beetles which is characterized by pustular or vesicular lesions on an extremely erythematous skin. And don't forget to ask about history of insect bite especially in case of children. Coming to inflammatory causes. Pseudotumor is an, or, is, is an orbital inflammation without any identifiable systemic or local causes and blepharochalasis is a rare episodic inflammation of the eyelids which is characterized by stages of acute attack of non-pitting edema followed by a and stage of uh, cigarette paper like thin skin. Patients with dacryoadenitis will have a, a inflammation, redness and con um, swelling more towards the superior lateral aspect of the orbit. And whenever there is bilateral dacryoadenitis, try to rule out uh, various underlying systemic or autoimmune conditions. Lididema due to allergic etiology will be usually painless. It can be a simple allergic edema on, um, on exposure to various irritants to life-threatening angioedema also. Sometimes it can be the masquerade of underlying neoplastic conditions. So always make a habit of checking for lymph nodes because it can change the whole treatment plan. Uh, vascular lesions can present with lididema, due, uh, lididema with a bluish tinge. Here we have to look for pulsation, pulsations, compressibility, variation with cough or vas valsalva manor. In case of trauma, ask a detailed history regarding the mode of injury, type of injury, uh, time of injury like that. And whenever an aged patient is coming with a bumpy lid, think about dermatochalasis or fat prolapse uh, due to uh, thinning of connective tissues or loss of elasticity of skin. Sometimes it can be a manifestation of underlying systemic conditions also. So always ask a history of increase in the edema during morning hours, especially in case of renal diseases. And in a patient with a uh, dysthyroid status, ask for, uh, look for various lid signs of thyroid eye disease. Sometimes the underlying globe itself protrude and present as a lid swelling as in this case of microphthalmos with cyst or a, a case of staphyloma like this. Uh, this is a case of a, a 7 year old child with upper lid swelling and there was a minimal limitation elevation so I sent for imaging and that turned out to be frontal lobe intraparenchymal abscess so the child was immediately referred to neurosurgeon. This elderly gentleman with a long standing history of swelling in a uh, painless swelling, firm in consist consistency, I was expecting a vascular swelling actually, but on eversion it was a simple conjunctival inclusion cyst, which needs simple marsupialization even without imaging. And this is a child treated as calaceone, but on eversion it was a foreign body 
and an interesting case of a, a child who is studying in fourth standard with upper lip edema and congestion in the superior bulbar and fornicial conjunctiva and her mother bought this bottle full of different varieties of insects and she revealed a history of keeping insects in the fornix in order to induce conjunctivitis and motive is just to avoid exams so lid edema can be an important symptom as well as sign it can be life threatening or even vision threatening also so always we should have a systematic approach to reach the diagnosis and give prompt treatment thank you thank you aparna for that beautiful uh, presentation